Hi everybody, it is Saturday, January 23rd, and I'm back for an update. It's been a minute. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope 21 is going much better than 20. As you can see, I have a new backdrop. I've been very busy uh, the past couple of months. I had a new year, a birthday. I moved to another state. I sold my other home and it's a new beginning for me and I'm super excited about it. I absolutely love where I am. I'm not going to say what state I am because of the trolls and things like that, but my email address is below. If you don't want to know where I am, send me an email. I'll be happy to discuss that with you in an email for security purposes all. <laughs> I'm going to show you uh, what I've been working on. I haven't really been working on a whole lot. Uh, like I said, the past several months, it's been a whirlwind. Um, I put my house up for sale in December. It sold the next day. And I actually found my house the last day in December, December 31st. So, but I didn't close on them until a couple of days ago. So uh, I'm super excited for a new year. I will have new gardens to build, new area to scope out, and... Uh, I needed a new beginning and I'm sure some of you can understand that so the first piece I'm gonna show you that I've been working on is the house mouse design I was working on this I started this in the spring of 2019 and this is actually my first finish in January and through the chaos MS I had to finish him up and there he is super cute I absolutely adore this piece and I didn't put the stem on it because I have an idea for a finish for this piece uh, so I'm excited that I have a finish for the year which is good considering everything I'm doing I still have a ton of stuff in boxes some stuff I don't even know where it is still <laughs> so anyway I highly recommend this book and it's called four seasons of course stitch by house mouse designs they have a lot of really cute patterns in this uh, book and that is my first finish for 2021 the next piece I'm gonna uh, the next pieces I'm going to show you I finished these last year and I forgot to show them in my last video because of things <laughs> now these are perennial pinwheels these are by hands-on designs and I don't know where the pattern is it's somewhere but I'm gonna show you uh, the pieces and this is winter That is how I finished the back and I have all this trim on it. These came out really cute. Here's the other one. Same trim and same back. And this is the one that says winter on it. So this is all three. I've done three sets. The next one I have to do is spring and spring is going to be coming up. So. That is all three of those, um, super cute. And I did have them displayed in this basket with greenery, but I don't know where the greenery is either. <laughs> in the house, um, the largest bedroom, I didn't choose to be my bedroom, I chose it to be my studio. And I'm excited about that. Uh, everything is just thrown in there right now. So I'll have fun as we go along. And I just gotta bend over here stuff everywhere uh, this is another piece uh, that I finished last year and this is called sweet freedom berry by Erica Michaels and they made that into a berry I'm not making it into a berry um, I think the berries are very pretty but that's not something I want to get into and I have an idea for this finish There you go. It's got the house and the bird and the flag. It's a patriotic piece. And I always have a, a patriotic room in my house, so I will be adding that. So that gives you an idea, even though you see like something made into a berry or something like that, and you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that. You could do your own thing. And I know exactly uh, how I will be finishing this piece. There you go. And this again is Sweet 
Freedom Berry by Erica Michaels. So that's number two. So I did have, I, like I did a little bit of stitching. Um, not a whole lot though. And then the last couple of weeks, I don't think I really stitched much. Uh, this one, this piece I did start on January 5th. I didn't do a whole lot, but this piece I had all kitted up and I could just grab the bag and like, hey, I'm, I need to work on something to keep sane. And this is Plum Street Samplers, and this is Sampler House number uh, four. It's got really beautiful colors in it, and I did a lot on it. I mean, I didn't, I started the house and the colors. It's a beautiful piece. I'm definitely working on a much bigger uh, linen on that. But definitely a beautiful piece. So I've been working on that. Those are the pieces that I've been working on. Uh, like I said, time. I haven't had time. We are almost, January is almost over, and it is a blur, an absolute blur. I'm going to show you a couple things uh, that I purchased now. This I ordered back in October, <laughs> and I got this yesterday yesterday i don't know how like it took so long i don't know they're back shipped on certain things um this is something i had ordered from one two three stitch and i was actually ordering this for the glue tape believe it or not i needed glue tape and michael's and hobby Lobby. none of them had it i don't know why so I went to one, two, three stitch because I always have uh, gift cards and I got gift cards again this year. So I'm excited about that. But that's what I ordered it for. And of course, I'm not ordering that and having it come alone. So I ordered a Mill Hill kit and it's called Pizza Slice. I love this. Christine uh, from Calico did this and I've been dreaming about New York pizza ever since. I want my New York pizza. I got a, a 36 count Endenberg, and this is called Picho Linen. And I just wanted a little uh, sampler piece to see how it was. And it's it's a nice piece of linen. Um, I like it. So sometimes I just order like little sampler pieces to see if I like the linen. And then this is a pattern I've wanted for so long. And this is called The Embroiderous Stocking by Kathy Barrick. And I really like this and I want to uh, stitch that and finish it and of course we want it done yesterday <laughs> but that's just not the way it's gonna work out uh, the next thing I purchased I did order a package from Teresa Kogut I think it was back in November and there was an issue with shipping and stuff and I finally got her package and I'll open that. I didn't even open it yet. Um, I did order the Morgan stand and I am going to be doing punch needle. I thought I would never go down that rabbit hole. I did this probably 22 years ago. I did punch needle. I did a piece and I lost all the stuff I own like uh, five or six years ago. Yeah, six years ago. And I didn't have it anymore. And I decided it's hard to replace everything you own. <laughs> it takes forever. But you'd be surprised at how much you accumulate in a certain amount of time. So I did order um, some stuff from Teresa. And she did say she was going to include something extra for me. I did order the uh, Ultra Punch from her. And Teresa Kogut has an Etsy shop. Uh, so definitely go visit her there. I bought the Ultra Punch from her. And I don't know what pattern I ordered, I don't remember, but she sent me two. And I got the cloth that you need uh, to punch needle on. And then I got Easter See You. That's a bunny rabbit. And this is Spotted Bunny. I think this is the freebie she gave me. Uh, but Teresa's awesome. I just love her. Um, go give her a visit. She's on Etsy. And I, I tried to support a lot of local people when I'm doing uh, cross stitch and hobbies. It's hard to support everyone, but I do try and do a lot of the independents. Um, I know a lot of people were struggling out there uh, last year 
2020 was a year for everyone. Um, it was a very, last year is this a year of reflection for me and thinking about things. And um, that's why I decided I needed uh, a big change for certain reasons. I absolutely loved where I was uh, the day of the closing. I absolutely cried like a baby. <laughs> um, you leave a piece of your soul at a house. Uh, you, you put a part of yourself in a home. I put in a whole big garden myself. I will miss that garden. I will miss the tree, my cherry blossom tree. I'll miss my she shed. I'll miss the ducks. There's a lot of things I will miss about that place, but that chapter of my life was done and I needed to move on. I absolutely love where I am. I'm excited to show you uh, what I will be doing. I'll put one picture at the end. I'm gonna be very careful about numbers on a house and things like that. Uh, but I will be, of course, as I build my gardens in the spring, I already got ideas in my head of what I wanna do. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you. And I think last year was um, a year for everyone. It affected everybody in some way. Uh, whether it's the seeing people, working issues, I mean, it could go on and on up the list. And, um, you know, my heart goes out to people who had it way worse than I did. I really do. Uh, I really didn't. It didn't really change that much for me. Just um, a lot of reflection last year. I have a lot of great things coming up for this year. So I'm super excited uh, for those things. And as we look forward and push ahead, um, it'll be a great year between it. Uh, there's a lot of Plus two, because I watch two, I haven't been able to watch everybody. I've been so busy, but there's a couple that kept me going. <laughs> With a mess. <laughs> and that's an, I, if you've ever moved, you know what it is like. And it's, it's not fun. It's definitely not fun. But I'm going to show you what I had started in between. Um, I made this a couple years ago. And I found this very enjoyable paper piecing, it's English paper piecing. And this is just like a table thing that I made. And what I did is I had some fabrics and I started, you know, paper piecing them. And, um, you know, this is absolute, it's a Christmas design too, how ironic, but I just started doing a bunch of them and I'll be putting them together. And I just put everything, you know, in a clear bucket, I got my, you know, my glue and, and my cutter. These are the discs uh, for the paper piecing. And I'm, I wanted to do something like that. So I, I worked on that a little bit. I really, like I said, I haven't been on here a lot because I've been so busy and I really don't have a whole lot to share. Uh, I'm gonna uh, definitely be, at the end of this video, I'm gonna be putting on a clip. I'm going to announce Excuse me, Lola Ben. I'm going to announce the winner of the Hobby Lobby gift card. It's a $25 gift card I was giving away. And this is the first cross stitch ornament of the year that I'm giving away. So that'll be on the end of this video. Who won this? I will be making a cross stitch ornament every month this year and giving it away uh, to you guys uh, as a stitcher. I have over the years given out dozens and dozens of cross-stitch ornaments that I have made. And it's something I like doing for stitchers. It's something that they could add to what they have and they know another stitcher made it for them. And I gotta say, most stitchers appreciate the handmade gift. And as you can see, this fireplace is awesome. I do have cross-stitch pieces up there. I did not hang anything on the walls yet. I don't wanna be starting hammering nails in the walls until I figure everything out. So I kind of just place them on the bottom of the mantle for a while. Um, this stuff up there, uh, just trying to settle in it. It's only been a couple of days and I have the rest of my life. That's what I told my sister. This, look at this. This is an amazing gift I was given uh, from Christmas. It's a beautiful point set of a greener. It has grown so much. And that will be over there uh, by the uh, mantle. I hope everybody is doing well out there. Uh, do what you love, you know, get out there, stitch, do what makes you happy. I'm going to include those winners at the end of this and I'm going to put some pictures I'm going to share. 
We've had more snow this year than in the last nine years since I've lived in the South. I've never seen so much snow and it's kind of fun to see all of the snow. It's not a blizzard or anything like that. It's maybe three, four inches and then it melts the next day. It doesn't really last here. But we've had so much snow here in the South. Uh, it, it's kind of amazing to me. So I'm gonna include some footage, some pictures. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of your January. This is gonna be an amazing year. 2021. And until we meet again, everyone, happy stitching. Okay, I'm going to do the giveaway for the gift card first. This was a $25 Hobby Lobby gift card. So let's get going. Let's see who wins. Nancy Baris, instead of gifts, I'm giving my time. If 40 hours to my roommate to work through her stuff in the storage unit, her bedroom, etc. I would love the gift and I would love the ornament and gift card to Hobby Lobby. Love your FFOs. My mom made me that same knitted stocking. I treasure it. We'll check with my aunt if she still knits and has the pattern as she made it for her sons and grandsons. So Nancy, you are the winner of the Hobby Lobby gift card. My address is below and send me an email and I'll get that out to you. The next one that we're going to do is going to be for the ornament. Barb Palmer is the winner of the cross stitch ornament. New subscriber and I just got back to cross stitching. Love the ornament and Hobby Lobby is a fun place to shop. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Well, Barb, that's a great way to start getting back into cross-stitch. I will send out that ornament to you. My email address is below. Send me your mailing address and I will get them out. Every month this year, I will be giving away a homemade cross-stitch ornament. So check back. Happy stitching, everyone.